Now, even though your Google business profile might be the most effective way, at least for many local businesses, the most effective way to bring in clients, customers, or, or even create awareness about your brand, the fact is that it's also one of the most vulnerable parts of your ranking system. So Google, over the past two months, in my experience, has been suspending um, Google business profiles left, right, and center. And primarily, it boils down to five major reasons why this is happening, at least in my experience. Um, and I'll go over those, those reasons in this video. But before I do, I just want to tell you that I offer a SEO for a living. There's a link in the description to my website and my blog that teaches SEO. It also offers SEO services, so whether you're looking for monthly SEO, a topical mapping service, press releases, or anything else that's related to SEO, you can find it on my website. So why does a business get suspended? Now, there are two types of suspension. The first is that Google will let you know that you've been suspended, and then you can probably take some action about it because you know you're suspended. Um, and the second is your business, your Google business profile will just drop off rankings altogether. So even though you're not getting a notification, for whatever reason, you'll not be able to rank that Google business profile. What do you do? So if you see that your Google business profile is not ranking very well, the first thing to do is try to optimize it. If that doesn't work, it means that you know there's a violation and Google has taken action against your Google business profile. And this usually happens in the US. Um, it also happens in the UK and other parts of the, of the world, but it's primarily something I've seen with clients in, in the US. The second is you'll get a violation. They'll send you an email. You'll see this when you log into your Google business profile and it says that you violated policies and then there was, there's probably a way to, to, to fix it. So how to avoid both of these? Now, I also want to just add here is that dealing with Google is immensely difficult. So you want to just try to avoid getting a violation or try to avoid violating the policies because once you do, just recovering your profile is near impossible. So you have five things that you should do um, so that you do not violate their policies. The first thing is an address violation. Now, what I've seen many people do is they'll create a Google business profile without an address. Now, even though that's okay, um, Google business profiles are for local businesses. So if you don't have an address or you're using a virtual address, or whatever, I'll get into the virtual address later on. But if you're using an ad, not using an address, or you don't have an address, there's a possibility that Google will shadow ban you because it sees doesn't it sees you as someone who's creating the Google business profile who game the system. The other thing is that if you're using a PO box, a UPS box address, a virtual co-office space, all of these will not work. You'll probably get banned. Um, if you're using a co-working space, this is where it's important to make sure that it's a separate office within the co-working space, where you can also put out a, 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 a board about your business or there's a plaque about your business. So if Google asks you for a video verification, you can you know, take them around your office, you can show, show them the plaque outside of your office. Plus, you, you should be able to see people at your office. So it should be an office or a showroom or a shop or whatever it is. Um, this is even if your services are not provided in-house. So even if you go out to provide the services, like if you're in the power washing business, you probably don't serve customers in, on your premises, but you go out to provide that service. Even in that case, you need to have a business address. If you don't have a business address and someone reports your business or Google reviews your business and sees it doesn't have an address, there's a 99% chance that you're gonna drop in rankings, even if you're doing very well, even if you have many reviews, even if everything else is correct, you're gonna see a violation or just a shadow ban. If you that here, if you're using your home address as a business address, Google knows that, and Google and you can see this from the Google Maps that it's a, it's a house. And so what many people have tried to do is they will start like, let's say a uh, landscaping business, they'll put the address, their home address on there, and the next thing they will do is that then they will start a, a salt supply business also from the same address. Um, and then they'll just, you know, just have two different businesses or they will have a start, start distribution business that will, they, they will start from another address. But generally Google sees this both as being the same business. If it's owned by the same person, it's the same business. And right there, there's a violation and you could get suspended for it. So again, you know, there's a white doing that. 
The other thing I've seen is if you try to make changes to your Google business profile, it's already an existing profile. You're trying to make changes to it, you'll get suspended. But you'll not just get suspended if you try to add like a post or something to your Google business profile, or if you're trying to add pictures or, or remove pictures, but instead you'll get suspended if you're, if you're trying to change the business address, the phone number, the business category, and the business name. So any of these five things, if you were attempting to change this, you'll get a suspension. So you have to leave it the way it is. Um, if, you had pre if you previously had a GMB or a Google business profile that was keyword stuffed in the name and you're just trying to remove all of those keywords, uh, it's probably a 50-50 risk if you try doing it because even though you're not necessarily get suspended, uh, Google is now doing that. I've seen a lot of businesses have come through to me with a suspension and all of them have said that they've tried to remove the keywords from their business name. Like for instance, XYZ near me, dentist near me, all of so they try to remove the near me or, or in Atlanta, Georgia or something like that. So they've tried to remove that and after they did that, they were suspended. So leave it the way it is. Don't try to mess with it because you're going to be suspended anyways. So if you're going to get a suspension, might as well let Google do it organically. Which leads me to the third reason why businesses, Google business profiles get suspended. And that is stuffing keywords into the business name. Now, again, if you do that, you're going to get suspended. But it's usually that Google will either manually review the Google business profile or if someone reports it. In 80% of the cases I've seen, it's because a competitor has reported a business that has keywords stuffed into the profile name. And so once that's, once that's reported, um, you know, Google within like, I think it's like 48 hours, Google just takes action and suspends that GMB. Now, even if it's a legally regist registered name for your business, for instance, XYZ near me, and this is like the near me is part of your business name, someone reports it, you'll still get suspended but then you can have Google reinstate that Google business profile. You'll have to send them documentation proof that the near me is part of your business name. Again, I don't advise you to register businesses with a near me in them because they're not very brandable. But if you, if you keyword stuff your business name or your profile with keywords, you're gonna have a problem. Try avoid doing. Then there's also another problem with two businesses sharing the same address. And this is usually comes down to the same virtual office. So people are sharing the same virtual office, they're putting the same address, they're putting the, phone num the same phone number, you're gonna get a suspension. The other thing is that if you're also doing this at your, at your home, and so if you have two or three businesses and you're not adding an address, but one of those businesses has your own home address on it, um, Google sees that and Google will associate all three businesses associated with your name, your phone number, and all the other details with that business and associate that with your home address. So right there and then there is a violation of Google's policies and doing that can most probably get you suspended. Same goes for if you're using virtual office, if you're using a, you know, if you just get a PO box or anything like that, just try to avoid doing that. Um, also, if you're gonna use a virtual office, if you're gonna use a an office, you know, where one of those offices where you can, there's an office within an office, if you're gonna do that, make sure that uh, you have your own phone number, dedicated phone number. Make sure that you, there's a way that you can have employees sit there or you're sitting there. Make sure that there's a way that you can put a plaque outside of your business or a board or a sign board or whatever. So that if you do get a suspension, you can make a video and you can ask Google to review it. Google might also send you a postcard and stuff like that, but also Google will ask you for, for a live video verification um, by which they will call you, there will be a video call, I have to show them around the business. So if there are employees that should be at the business, you should be at the business, you should, you should see people at the business, and that's part of Google's policies. And finally, I've seen businesses get suspended because people report them. And this is happening a lot, um, more than you would imagine. So a competitor would just report your business. I have seen competitors just go out and report 10, 15, 20 businesses that were ranking above them, and they just jump right to the top because all of those businesses were violating Google's policies. And so the SEO person that they hired to do it just went ahead and did that. And that was the only SEO that they did. But if that's happening, you're gonna get a violation. That's a violation and you will get suspended. 
Um, the good news is that you can always, um, again, if it's if those keywords are part of your business and you can always get Google to review um, and you know just take a look at your business and your business um, registration and stuff like that. But I wouldn't like it. it will t it will take a long time. So if someone came to me and said, you know, this part of my business name and I was suspended because of this. I would say it will take a, a month to maybe two months to get your business back up. And even then it was going to be harder to rank because you lost out on like two months of reviews. You were lost out on two months of updates, but it's still doable. So there you have folks. These are the five reasons why your GMB would get reported. In my opinion, um, it's going to happen to everyone at some point, but you should make sure that your Google business profile is as clean as possible. Make sure it's created by a professional who knows what they're doing. And if, you're, if you know what you're doing, make sure that you're not making any of these mistakes when you're creating the profile initially. So guys, if you have a question, leave a comment below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.